Okay, so um, welcome back to another session on your uh, on our R&D online review. So at this moment, we'll continue solving problems um, related to uh, basic electricity and Ohm's law. So in the last video, we are able to solve three problems. So now we will try to solve again another uh, some batches of problems okay so first a given wire has a resistance of 7.6 ohms if its length is 560 meters how much length must be cut off from the wire in order to reduce um, its length into 12.5 Ohms. So we have a wire which is uh, which has a resistance of 7.5 a uh, 17.5 ohms and its length is 560 meters. Okay, so how much length? So how much length that we are going to cut off for the wire to reduce its um, it's uh, resistance to 12.5 ohms okay so we will try to solve this one so we have solution okay so let's assume that the cross sectional area of the wire is the same okay so let's have that assumption assume that the cross sectional cross sectional area is the same so this means that the one that is changing is the length so we could write our equation the r plus so r is equal to rho l over a so because the cross-sectional area is assumed to be the same and the wire is also the same material so your resistivity and your area is constant so we could write as r so let's just have the constant as k times l okay so for r1 so r1 the first initial uh, resistance is 17.5 17 ohms so we could have our could substitute this one so our r1 is equal to k because that is constant times l1 wherein our l1 also the initial length before the wire will be cut off is equal to 560 meters so su substituting this one to this formula so we could have 17.5 is equal to so we should uh, let's just neglect the unit k times 560 meters uh, let's think back the unit okay so from this one we could we could solve for k so the 560 we we'll transpose this one to this to this side of the equation so we have k is equal to 17.5 over 560 so the second condition the second condition the r2 is equal to um, 12.5 ohms so because the resistance uh, has been reduced so meaning the length also will be reduced but we will try to solve what is that length okay so we have r2 is equal to k times L2. So if we are going to solve for L2, we could have L2. So 
So, from this formula, so K over R2. And we have our K because it is the same material and the same area of wire. So, our K is 17.5. 17.5 uh, over 560 560 so let's just write the 6 legibly okay so 560 all over R2 is 12.5 so we will have the answer as so which we'll use our calculator okay so the fractions we have 17.5 over 560 so over 12.5 Okay. So let's see. So we'll have one over our L is equal to okay, okay. So we made a little mistake in our um, equation. So it is uh, this one is not correct. So that's why I am confused on the value of our L uh, of our length, the L2. So the right equation will be L2. So this one will be transposed to the other side. This will become R2 over K. So sorry for that mistake. So, we will have R2. So, R2 is equal to 12.5 over uh, K is 17.5 over 560. Okay. So, our L2. So, when we go back to our calculator. So, let's erase that one. So, we have 12.5 over 17.5 uh, divide or over 560. So, we'll have L2 as 400 meters. So, the question is, uh, the required question is the length that must be cut off from the wire in order to reduce the resistance of 12.5 ohms. So at 12.5 ohms, the equivalent length of the wire here is 400 from the one that we are solve, uh, we have to solve. And from the given, at 17.5 ohms, the length of the wire is 560. So what is the length of the wire that we are going to cut? To cut? Okay, so the let's have that one as LC or the length of wire to be cut. That will become L1 or that is equal to L1 minus L2. Then we will have substituting the given, so 560 meters. And the value we solve from L2 which is 400 meters. So we'll have 100 60 meters and this is now our answer okay so we have utilized the formula for r plus so in this type of problem so we, we made assumptions that the wire is the same material and the same cross-sectional area so from that assumption we will apply the a concept of the formula in which the resistance is direct the resistance of a wire is directly proportional to its length so meaning if the resistance of the wire increases then the length also increases so 
at the, at the problem, the resistance of the wire decreases. So therefore, the length of the wire will also decrease. And that is the reason why we are going to solve for the length of wire that will be cut off. Okay? So now we will proceed to problem number five. Okay, so what is the size of wire? 250 MCM size. So we will try to find the size of wire. 250 MCM. The, we will convert the um, mega circular mean into square millimeter. Okay. So let's have our solution. Okay, solution. Solution. So we have. So we know that circular mill is equal to d squared. So that is how we will interpret circular mill, and we also know that. Uh, 1 MCM or 1 mega circular mill is equal to 1000 is equal to 1000 circular mill or 1000 cm so our 250 MCM is equal to 250,000 cm or circular mil. So from here, we could solve our D or the diameter of the wire. Where in the diameter of wire here, the unit is in mils. Mils. Because the definition of circular mil is the area of uh, the diameter of uh, the area of the circle having a diameter of one mil okay so that is the that is the definition of circular mil and this and that is described in this formula so we could have d is equal to d squared is equal to m uh, m equal to circular mil so d is equal to square root of so because we are trying to get the value of d so we will square the other side so we substitute the circular mill here the given so that is 250,000 cm so our D now is equal to, so we will use our calculator, square root of 250,000. So we will have D is equal to 500 mils. And we know also that Uh, we know also that one inch, because we are trying to convert the circular mill, yeah, the MCM into square millimeter. So we know that one inch is equal to 1,000 mils. So we will be converting our D into in inch and then into uh, millimeters so that we can solve for our square millimeter okay so our d is now equal to maybe let's use another color for emphasis okay so we have 500 mils so this will be multiplied by one inch is equal to 1000 Mills. So cancel, cancel. 
So, we will have 0 0.5 inch. Okay? So, we will convert our 0 0.5 inch again into um, millimeter. So, we have 25.4 millimeter over 1 inch. So, this is cancel and cancel. So, we'll have, so that is 0 0.5 times 25.4. So, equal to 12.7. So, we have 12.7 millimeter. So, we will now get the area of the wire in square millimeter. So, the shape of the cross-sectional cross area of a wire is a circle. So, the formula for circle given the diameter is pi d squared over 4. So, we have pi. So, the d is equal to 12.7 squared. Okay, so all over 4. So our area now is equal to so pi times 12.7. So this is squared. Okay, 12.27. 12.7 over 4. So we have 126.68 so we have 100 126.68 126.68 square millimeter and that is now our Answer. So, from circular mill or mega circular mill to 50 mcm, we have converted the size of the wire into one into square millimeter, which is equivalent to 126.68 square millimeter. So, when you say mcm, that pertains to the area of the wire or circular mill that pertains to the area of the wire. So, you must convert the circular mill into inches. Then, if the required is square millimeter, so you must convert the inches into mm, then apply the area of the circle because the cross sectional area of the wire is a circle. So, it's a circle, then you apply the formula so you can convert your cm or your circular mill into square millimeter. Okay? So, let's proceed to. The next problem. So we have the resistance of 120 meters of wire is 12 ohms. So what is the conductance? So this is a trick question because so this is a solution. This is a trick question because you have you are given with the length this is 25 meters. And you have also the resistance is equal to 12 ohms. Now, you are required to solve for the conductance, which is the G. Okay. So, but this is a very easy question. All you need to remember is that conductance is equal to the reciprocal of the resistance or 1 over the resistance. So, 1 over the resistance is given 12 ohms so you your answer is now equal to so 1 over 12 so let's have the calculator for that 12 inverse hmm. so we have 0 0.83 so 0 0.83 so the unit for conductance is Siemens and that is now your Answer. So the length of 120 meters has no purpose because we just have try to remember the definition of a conductance. That is the reciprocal of the resistance, and the resistance is already given. Okay. 
So let's have another question. So we have this one. A, toast, a toaster takes 10 amperes from a 20 volt line. So we have a misspelling here. So this is indeed not one line. So what is the power U? So this is a very easy question. So we need just to remember the formula for power. Okay. So we know that power is equal to voltage. So let's just use V times I. So voltage times current. So we have our voltage is 12 volts. And our current is 10 amperes so we will have 100 so let's just check with our calculator 10 times 12 so that is equal to okay it's equal to 120 120 watts and that is now a is the answer okay so just using the power formula because you are the given is already the current and the voltage okay let's proceed okay how much resistance of a 600 watts 120 volt toaster so how much maybe we have uh, how much is that okay maybe we have a little wrong spelling here so how much is the resistance of a 600 watt 120 volt toaster so this the solution of this one will use now our technique so using the power triangle and the ohm's law triangle okay so let's write first the two triangles so the power triangle so first the ohm's law so v this is uh, on the with the video discussing this one we use the e for voltage so we just have that one for uniformity times r then that is the ohm's law then we have also the power so this is p this is e times i I believe we use the V or the E, but nonetheless, E and V are the same because they are used, two of them are used to um, to solve or to represent voltage, okay? So, the given, so our given, so P is equal to 600 watts and our the another given is the voltage which is equal to 120 volts okay so we are required to find for the let's put the required as a red so we are required to find for the resistance okay so using the ohm's law triangle ohm's law triangle so if we, if we are going to cover r so because that is the required so the formula will be e over i or voltage over the current so in solving for r covering the r in our ohm's law triangle that is equal to e over i so from the given we have our e the voltage but we don't have our i so we go to the other triangle maybe we could solve the i from the other triangle or the current from the power triangle so if i covering the i so the formula for the i is p over e so the formula for the i is p over e okay so i have brown so the formula for i is equal to p over e so we have our p from the given 600 watts and we have our e 120 so we could have that one as 600 watts all over 120 volts so that is 5 i believe so 120 all over oh, 120 600 
over 120. So that is equal to 5. So this is equal to 5 amperes. So we have solved our I using the power triangle. So we could now use this formula. So we can now solve for R. Okay. So our R is equal to 120 volts that is the given and we solve our current 5 amperes so we have 120 divide 5 so that is equal to 24 ohms the unit for resistance is ohms and this is now our answer okay so we'll be solving more problems so this is the part two so we will upload uh, we will do the part three uh, later so as of now this is uh, this is what we have solved and for any questions you can always comment on the uh, video below and as always, I hope you understand something and in order to pass the exam, keep studying.